In this video, I'm going to show you the live streaming setup using the SK300 Live sound card from a PC or a laptop. If you're going to use a background music, let's say for example a karaoke song or another background music, we will use uh, the background music from this uh, laptop itself and also I'll be showing you using another source of your background music. Let's say for example we will use this uh, other device and in this setup I will be using a condenser microphone. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the connections and cords we will be using in this setup which is very very simple. So first of all we will connect this uh, XLR cord to 3.5 mm. Normally this comes when you buy a condenser microphone. So from here mic 1 and 2 you just select uh, whichever on here. So let's select let's say mic 1. And uh, of course the other end we will connect it to here. Okay and uh, I will be using a headset. It's up to you if you want to use a speaker but normally for uh, live streaming I would uh, advise you to use uh, a headphone or an earphone or a headset. Okay, so this one I will be uh, connecting to the one that says headset on here. Okay. Okay, just make sure they're properly plugged in. And now I will be uh, using this one here and this one comes when you buy this uh, SK300 Live uh, sound card. So you can see uh, the end is like that. So like a different type of, uh, of uh, USB. So of course this one here we will connect to here. Okay. And of course the other end we will connect to wherever is the USB port of this uh, PC or laptop. So in this case it's just over here. There it is. As I mentioned earlier, I will be showing you also using another device as a source of our background music or let's say karaoke song and for that I will be using this one. So this is uh, uh, the one that has uh, three lines on both ends. So it's, it's the TRRS uh, cord and normally this one comes also when you buy uh, this type of uh, sound card. So of course one end we will connect to the one that says accompaniment. And then the other end we will connect to this uh, device. I'm just going to use uh, a lightning audio adapter because this iPhone doesn't have an audio uh, jack over here. But if you are using an Android phone or an iPad, just connect the other end to the headphone port of that uh, device or source. And now that we're set, we can now turn on this uh, sound card. So just hold two to three seconds and it should uh, turn on. Okay, something like that. And from the PC or laptop, go to settings or open settings and system and then sound. So go to sound. And from here, you have to set this as your speaker and also your input or microphone. So from here as you can see it says uh, it's asking you to select which one. Is it the MV Silicon B1 USB audio and this is the one now. So it's uh, so that is now being selected and then the microphone so the microphone is over here so it's now also selected. So if it's not selected just make sure to select the MV Silicon B1 USB audio and that is the name of this uh, SK300 Live sound card. So now that it's being selected we can now get out from there. And again as I mentioned earlier we will be using uh, Facebook as our platform for streaming. And now once you log in to your account on a PC or a laptop, you should see something like this. And from here, the one that says live video, that is the one we will be uh, selecting. Okay, and uh, from here, so it's up to you, whatever settings uh, you want to put on there. And uh, from here, so you can see now myself on there. And uh, so let me just, uh, if you want this one bigger, you can just tap that or just scroll it up and you will see something like this. Okay, now we're ready to go live. Uh, then uh, let's stop this one now over here. Okay, there it is. We're almost on live. 
Okay, there you go. So we are now on live. So what I will do is I am going to sync the audio from this live streaming to the video I'm taking right now. So I can share also to you the audio I am hearing from this uh, headset or earphone. Okay, let's start uh, from uh, this one uh, on here. All the sound effects, preset sound effects on here, pretty much you can use them if you need them. Let's say, for, let's just uh, try some of them. Let's say, don't uh, laugh. <laughs> And this one, and, and also you can use the drums, uh, the three options here for drums. Let's say one of that. Okay, there you go. So again, you can use those uh, preset sound effects here if you would like. And then the microphone uh, settings on here, it's up to you to test them, whatever is your preferred uh, settings. So the mic middle on here, I just placed it at uh, maybe one o'clock. And then the mic high and mic low. Mic high is more of a treble. And then the mic low is more of a bass. So, uh, so far in here, I just set them at uh, 3 o'clock for both of them. And then the monitor volume, I would normally don't turn this up too high. Otherwise, you might think uh, that your audio is already too loud, where in fact it's not. So I suggest do not turn the monitor volume too high. And uh, for the voice changer on here, the volume knob, uh, if you just turn this uh, to the right, it, it, there is no effect if you just turn the volume knob on here for the voice changer. You have to select one from here first to have that effect. So, which means if, uh, let's say, for example, if I'm going to to select a female, so that your voice is like that, then as you, as you turn this to the right, your voice changes. Okay, there you go, sound check. And if we're going to uh, select the male, so this is the male, and again, as I turn the volume knob for the voice changer here, your voice tone changes as well. Okay, there you go. So let's just let's just go back to our original voice. There it is. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the uh, the uh, uh, features of this uh, K three hundred uh, sound card that is not uh, found on the other other uh, sound card. So again, this one here. Uh, as you press those uh, three uh, voice changer, it does change also as you press the voice changer on here. But if you want to uh, to just use the the this button here, you can. Let's say, for example, or child, then your voice is like that, and female, then or monster, then uh, your voice is like that. Okay, let's just go back to our original voice. And for the KTV concert studio and mic on here, so it's up to you if it's up to you if you want to use them. And just so you know, now that the reverberation here, volume is at zero, even if you select one of them, let's say KTV, Concert Studio, there won't be no reverb. So in this type of sound card, you have to turn the effect on here, the reverb volume, for those uh, options here to have effect. Okay, so now that we put some reverb on here, so if we select KTV, then the tone is like that and then the concert the tone is like that and studio and then mic so as you notice the mc i mean mc and the mc as you notice has a little bit of reverberation compared to ktv or a concert and so again it's up to you whatever is your purpose of doing your live streaming if it is more of singing then the ktv concert or studio are the options and for podcasting, the original is uh, the, your option or the MC as well. So MC sounds like that. And then the original sounds like this. So, so just so you know, if you select original, even if the reverberation volume here is on high, there won't be no uh, echo because you selected the original option or button on here. And now let me show you the use of this uh, Purge original. So what it is, is it somehow eliminates or removes the vocals from, this, from that song. And it somehow turns that song into a karaoke song. And if you want to sing along with that, and then that is the use of that. So it's, it's like elimination for other type of sound cards. So let's give it a sample. Let's play this music on here. Okay, there you go. So as you notice, it has vocals. And if you want to turn this one into a karaoke song, but just to give you a heads up, the audio output is not as great. But if that's your only way, if you want to use it, then that is the use of that Purge original. Okay, let's play it again. Okay, and now I'm going to turn the Purge original. There you 
you go. So somehow it lowers the, the volume of the vocals, and then you can sing along with it. So let's turn it back on again. Okay, there you go. So that is the use of the uh, Purge original. And uh, now uh, let me show you the use of uh, this uh, Dutch. So the Dutch. Uh, you can use this one together, the button here, together with the volume knob on here. And uh, if you are only uh, going to be using the um, the button here, uh, it will not affect. So again, you have to use both of them. Okay, let's uh, give it a sample. Let's play this uh, instrument on here. Okay. Okay, so I am playing this one now. And if I'm going to hit the Dutch on here, so you will notice even if I turn the Dutch on here already you can still hear the background music and now if i'm going to turn the volume knob on here oh give me a second let me turn it on okay there it is so it's blinking so which means that uh, uh, it is now turned on so uh, uh, as you notice the the vocals of or the volume of that background music it's still there so now if i'm going to turn the volume knob here to the right from this dutch bot uh, volume knob there you go, sound check. So there you go. That is the only way for the Dutch button here to affect if you turn the volume knob also up here. So let's turn it up maybe at 3 o'clock. There you go, sound check. And I'm going to stop talking. Okay, there it is. So now let's try turning it, at, setting it at 9 o'clock. Sound check. And then I'm going to stop talking. Okay, so again, that is the use of, uh, again, that is the use of uh, Dutch. So you have to use both of them here and from there. And now what is this stereo mix? So the stereo mix is uh, uh, use if you are going to do a live streaming from this laptop. And at the same time, the background music is coming from this uh, laptop. Let's say, for example, this song on here. Let's play it. Okay, so right now you can hear that background music as I am. If I'm going to, to tap this one more time, only me can hear this one, but not your listeners. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so if I'm going to tap this one now. Okay, so only me is able to hear that. As you can see, it's still uh, playing over there. And uh, you cannot hear it as a viewer or listener, but only me. But if I'm going to tap it one more time, there you go. So both of us can hear that again. So again, if you want to do a karaoke song, uh, maybe maybe that is the reason why you are uh, you think you are only singing an a cappella because of that you did not tap the stereo mix. So make sure to tap it um, to to turn it on. So turn on and off. So that is the reason why uh, you probably think that you are you are uh, singing a cappella only without. Uh, a background music okay let's give it a little a little sample okay let's set this one to to concert okay soundtrack testing one two and then steer okay so let's play this one now Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, how it works. This time, let me show you the electro tone on here. So the electro tone is just a, a voice tone or effect to your voice uh, that you can use maybe for singing. Let's uh, give it a try. So that's A major, sound check, testing one, two. A flat major. So as you keep uh, as you keep pressing this one, it gives your vocals or tone into a different tone. So it's up to you if you want to use this one. And then the noise control here, this is like a noise uh, reduction for other type of sound card. And this is actually up to five levels of noise reduction. So I should say, if your surroundings is very, very noisy, then turn it up to the max at number five. But if your surroundings is not that noisy, maybe you turn it to zero or maybe at two. But again, it's up to you, whatever is your uh, preference. 
And by the way, the accompaniment volume is from here. You can control it, uh, something like that. And also you can control it from this laptop. So something like that. And now let me show you uh, if we're going to connect a background music from a different source. So let's say, for example, uh, from this uh, device on here. Okay, so as you recall, we connected this white uh, cord on here to, to here. And uh, so this is connected to the accompaniment at the back of this uh, sound card. So let's test first how loud is our uh, background music. Okay, so it sounds like it's not as loud. So in this case, to control the volume of your accompaniment, you can control it from here or from there. Okay, so something like that. Okay, let's pause it for a bit. Now that the background music is coming, from a different source other than from a laptop, then even if the stereo mix is on or off, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect if your background music is from a different source other than from this laptop. Okay, let me play this one. Okay, so as you notice, it is currently playing. Let me just use the maybe studio this time, sound check, or maybe KTV. Okay, so now I am playing it uh, right now, and I'm gonna tap this again. There you go, sound check, sound check, and then I'm gonna tap it one more time. There you go, sound check, sound check. So as you notice, okay, so as you notice, you can still hear the background music, even if the stereo mix here is on or off, because the source of our background music is not from this laptop that we're using for live streaming. Okay, and now let me show you if you are going to connect this background music using uh, Bluetooth. So let's remove this uh, cable on here, and let's remove this one also on here. What you do is just go to settings of that device, go to Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on, and then you have to, so it, this is now turned on. So it's now showing on here, SBE underscore K300. So let's tap that one to pair them. Okay, there it is. So it's, it is now uh, paired to this uh, sound card. So now let's go back to the YouTube again, the song that we were playing. There it is. This means that this the background music is now uh, connected to this sound card wirelessly. Let's play it now. Let's give it a try. Okay, so there it is. And you can turn the volume up from here. So same as earlier. Okay, something like that and also you can control it from here. Okay, let's give it a little uh, sample uh, singing. Okay, so let's uh, select KTV this time and let's uh, play this one. Okay, let's pause it now. And now let me show you the use of this pause and play. So the use of pause and play, if you connected your background music using Bluetooth, then that is, that is the use of pause and play. So now that we have connected this background music using Bluetooth, you can play it from here without touching this one. Okay, let's play it from here. There you go. So as you notice, it did play. And now if you want to pause it, you can pause it from here as well. Okay, there you go. The use of play and pause on here is only if you have connected a different source of background music using Bluetooth. Let's try it again. Play this one from here and it plays over here. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.